what I want you to do now is walk me through installing VS Code on my PC, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to use VS Code to program an Arduino board? You know it's possible. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to do it with this guy who doesn't know anything about VS Code or coding. Let's do this. You can learn this. All right, Josh, you got a Mac, right? I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and share your screen and go ahead and open up a browser window, Google, whatever, and just search for VS Code. And it should pop, probably one of the first things that pops up. There you go, you've already been to the site. So go ahead and go to VS Code. And then there's like multiple download places, right? But I think the easiest one is just right there on the front, of the front big blue button there, download. It's gonna self-detect, or it's gonna detect what which one you're on. If not, you can like specifically select your machine. So you can save it to the desktop, that's fine. Should download a zip, all right? And then once it's done, you can just double click that zip file and it should install it for you. Cool, extracting, sweet. All right, now you can uh, like you can do it however you want. Usually I'll take, you know, I'll take that and I'll drag it to my applications folder. I don't know if you've got your applications folder pinned to your desktop or not. It doesn't really matter, but I don't. Okay, so uh, go ahead and double click VS Code and it should open. Double clicking is hard, I know. It's like, I know. <laughs> I'm going to open. I'm going to trust. All right. Trust it, Mike. man. Trust it. It's it's Microsoft. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> All right. Sweet. Yeah. And just make that full screen for us if we could. Okay. So you've installed VS Code, man. This is great. Nice. Nice. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do, because we're trying to get this to work with Arduino, is there's an extension we need to install. Uh, there's actually a couple extensions that we can try to get the Arduino to work with VS Code. I'm going to use the one that Microsoft creates, uh, makes, and, and manages. All right. So over on the left hand bar, uh, there's like a work bar there. I don't know what the appropriate name for that is. But uh, at the very bottom, there's a thing that looks like blocks, you know, like little building blocks. That's the extensions. Okay. So go ahead and click that. And extensions are something like that you can add um, to the IDE to like extend it essentially, the VS okay. Code IDE. And so what you want to do is go to, so it's already showing you for recommended like some Arduino stuff, which is cool. So go ahead up at the top, there's a search bar, click the uh, search and type in Arduino. There you go. See that top one? It's got a little blue check mark where it says Microsoft. Yeah. Now click install. It's going to go through a little installation process here. Okay. That's an old logo there. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is kind of an old logo. It's <laughs> it's kind of a conglomeration of, yeah, that's totally an old logo. You're right. All right. Notice that it opened up your Arduino IDE, and that's probably something important to note. If you want VS Code to work, with Arduino, you know, with your Arduino boards, you also have to have the Arduino IDE installed. Now, yeah. just as a little caveat that's rather, uh, I don't know, semi-technical, there's actually a command line tool that Arduino makes that you can also use, but we won't talk about that right now. As long okay. as you know, is you just gotta have the Arduino IDE installed uh, to use VS Code with uh, Arduino. Gotcha. All right, sweet. So you wanna go back to the, uh, there we go. Okay, sweet. So look, you've downloaded this Arduino extension. Now I want you to notice over on the left where it says installed, see where it also installed a C, C++ extension in there. Yeah. All right. So that's just stuff that kind of like, you know, sometimes these extensions have like uh, dependencies and they'll install some other stuff for you too. Okay. And it can happen. Uh, it, you like you install one and then all of a sudden you've got all these different extensions installed in there. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to open up, I like, I want to do a smoke test. I want to like actually test that everything is working here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Arduino sketchbook folder. Okay. And that's going to be the space that we work in. So we're going to open a folder in VS code and it's going to be the Arduino sketchbook folder, which is like the folder where all your Arduino files get stored. So go ahead and I want you to go up to file at the very top. You know, it's going to be like the drop down. There you go. So go to file. And I want you to go to open folder. All right, now I want you to find your sketchbook folder. Usually it's documents. Yep, there it is, okay. Arduino, and then select Arduino. This is generally the uh, sketchbook folder. All right, okay, now go ahead and click open. All right, great. So now I want you to go in the top left and uh, there's a, there's like a two pieces of paper on top of each other. It's in that sidebar, not at the very top. Yep, there you go. 
Wait, two pieces of paper. Oh, well, right there. Yeah, yeah, there. I don't know. What what do you call it? I You're know. totally right. I just got scared because uh, this kind of looks like paper. Okay, but it's more okay. Like no, 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 cool. All right. Yep, that that thing. That's the Explorer. So click that. So now see where it says Arduino's at the top. That's like the top folder. And then inside that, you have your libraries folder. Those are like the uh, pre-installed Arduino libraries. So go ahead and click that little arrow next to libraries to make that small. Okay, okay. great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test that we've got everything set up, okay? So I want you to go ahead and create a new folder. So if you go over to the right, there should be a button there to create a folder. I think there's usually a drop down suggestion. That looks like it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, there go we ahead go. and click that. And I want yep. you, did you do it? Yep. Oh, you know what though? Here's here's what happened. See how it made the folder inside libraries? We don't want to do it inside libraries. So actually just go ahead and put your, put your mouse below Arduino. So open up Arduino again. Put your mouse below libraries, right click, and now say new folder. Gotcha. There we go. And now just call it smoke underscore test. And a smoke test is when like you're just, you're trying, you're making sure something works right. Like you've got it all wired up correctly. Okay. Cool. So now what you're going to do is right click on smoke test and then say new file. And now I want you to name this smoke underscore test dot ino. Now, the reason you need the enclosing file is because uh, the Arduino IDE, that's like just how it organizes its files. It's got an Eno file inside an enclosing folder of the same name, right? Okay. When you're on the Arduino IDE, you don't have to like do that. You know, you don't have to make the folder and put the file in it. Like the Arduino IDE handles that for you. But we're in VS Code, so you got to do it yourself, right? Gotcha. Okay. So, so that's what the ENO, I dot INO is. So I can hit, okay. Yeah, so now we're in a in a dot e eno file. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna have you write out a blank sketch really quick. All right, this is gonna be our test, but you probably need an Arduino. All right, here's an Arduino, man. Awesome. Cool. Okay, um, so go ahead and hook that up, and then just real quick, we'll go through writing a uh, blank sketch. Okay. You know, it's times like these that I I really like to sit back and reflect take inventory on, on my intentions and my inner dialogue. What's going on in this sketch? What is what does blinking an LED really mean? And what did pin 13 do to be held above the rest? Did 12 do something so bad that it deserves to kind of be ostracized from the blinking LED community? These are the nagging questions and on an emotional level I just want to express that I don't even know if I like this guy. Why does he have so much to say? Why is his sweatshirt blue? I don't know. This this is just a lot harder than I expected. I hope it's almost over. All right, so Josh, we've uh, written out just a simple blink sketch here, um, which is cool. Now, notice that like a bunch of words are underlined, right? So there's something going on here um, because it's not like the the IDE isn't recognizing the keywords and stuff like that, like pin mode and digital write and high and all that kind of thing. Yeah. I think that's going to get cured once we like verify and upload. Um, but before we do that, you got to see down at the bottom. So at the bottom of your screen in the blue, we've got all these different options here. So what you're going to do is because just like in the Arduino IDE where you have to select the board and the port and all that stuff, we're yeah. going to do the same thing here. So you've got an Arduino Uno. Go ahead and select the board from up top. And there's all types of different boards in here, like ESP8266, ESP32. You know, there's a ton of different boards in here. Same that you're going to find in uh, your Arduino IDE. Okay, so you've got Arduino Uno selected. Uh, go ahead and select the serial port it's on. There you go. That's the second one, Arduino. Okay, now select the programmer down at the bottom. For an Arduino Uno, it's just going to be AVR ISP. Go ahead and select that. And what is ISP real quick? in system programmer awesome of course, of course i remembered that okay sweet all right so we've got the port selected we've got the board selected we've got the programmer selected sweet so now what you're going to do in the uh you can close that little uh, arduino board configuration um no you don't want to do that that's that's it right there yep okay so now there's a bunch of buttons at the top there uh, in the top right one of them is upload and one is verify. Let's go ahead and verify this first. Um, now, so see that big list of stuff right there? 
Yeah. Go ahead and just type in smoke test. Is this is like searching for the file? Okay, see now that's the one that you want to actually uh, verify. So click that. Notice it opens up the Arduino IDE. See this? It's opening up the Arduino IDE. Now go ahead and scroll back over, and it should be saying verify. And bam. Okay, so see now this that black space at the bottom that is the council, right? So go ahead and. Uh, see the part where it says sketch uses 924 bytes yeah that this is what you would normally see printed out to the council in your arduino ID, yes right? okay it's, it's yep. showing you the same stuff okay sweet man uh that's pretty much it can you show us your arduino board is the oh actually we didn't upload it though right go ahead and upload it now that's that button right there click upload again it's using the arduino ide functionality to actually upload it to the board it's like interfacing with that and then in the bottom, see where it says Arduino IDE uploading in the very bottom on the blue there. Yep. Oh, oh man. Oh no. AVR dude. Quack, quack. Not... Yeah, no. All right. The infamous AVR dude uh, error. Okay. This is like a git sync. All right. So lots of troubleshooting we could do here, Josh, but this is a thing that happens on the Arduino IDE or it can happen in other IDEs. Like here we are in VS code, right? Okay. Yep. So what you're going to do first troubleshooting step for this, I think the easiest thing is just reset your Arduino board. Just press the reset button. Yep. And then go ahead and click upload again and let's see what happens. Ooh, dude, man, got to clean up some of that stuff. Arduino. All right, now notice in the bottom, it's uh, Arduino uploading. All right, usually when it takes this long, it means we got to, this isn't going to do it. So can you go to, and scroll to the bottom of your console? Oh, so it's like attempting? Yeah. And once it gets to 10, it'll say, nope. Yeah, it just kind of gives up, yep. Okay, so this ain't going to work. All right, so now what I want you to do is unplug your Arduino board. Just pop it out, yep, and pop it back in. Okay, now notice that um, at the bottom, it doesn't say Arduino uploading anymore. Like that's what you want to do when you're doing these troubleshooting steps. You want to make sure that it's done doing that before you try next troubleshooting step. Okay, okay so first thing we tried uh, was just resetting the board. Now we unplug the USB, plug it back in, yep. go ahead and click upload again. I think you actually hit the verify button there, but that's okay. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Yep, there we go, hit upload. Great, so now it uploaded. So go ahead and uh, can we show us your board? Do we see uh, LED on at pin 13? Sweet, okay, man, that is it. Nice job, man. Feeling pretty good about that? Yeah, that wasn't too hard. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, man. Um, what I want you to do now is walk me through installing VS Code on my PC, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, because like you just, uh, you know what I mean? Like, hey, that's kind of learning. Like, that's true. I showed you um, how to do it on a Mac. You've done it. Now I want you to walk me through on doing it on a PC. Okay. Awesome. I can Sweet. just, I'll just recall it all and here we go. Okay. Let's do this. All right, Mike. Now we're, the tides have turned. I will be showing you how to download VS Code. So let's right, open sweet. up. Not on a PC, right? And you, you don't really use PCs. I don't so use PCs. So I'll just have to. <laughs> all right. Walk my way through it. Let's go to whatever browser you use on your PC. I use Chrome. Sweet. And we'll search for VS Code. Awesome. Let's see if it identifies. Yeah, download for Windows. So just okay. click that. Sweet. That's nice that it identifies. Save it anywhere. I will save it anywhere. <laughs> Got a lot of good stuff in there. It's like a new computer. So I think it's just like bloatware crap, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, bloatware stuff. <laughs> Now, now, what I like to do, Mike, is go down to the bottom left and just open it straight from your browser. Just open that, double click it. Is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> and you can accept that. It's interesting. I didn't have to accept it on Mac. Yeah, that is interesting. What's hmm, interesting? I don't know. I'm scared, of, uh, I'm scared of this PC. Yeah. All right. Let's see. It's going to go to programs, Microsoft VS Code. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that looks good. Okay um create this uh, i think all that looks good this does say requires shell restart all right whatever hmm. man it sure time. asked me a whole lot more doesn't it oh yeah click install i don't even feel like i had to do this install 
Got the gnomes working here. You didn't really up. walk me through that. I'm a little like, what gives, man? I thought you were going to show me how to do this. <laughs> okay. I'm just scared of this interface. And then we'll hit finish, Mike. Launch right, Visual Studio sweet. Code. And it's opening up for us. Sweet. Wow, looks like you've been in here before. I have been in here before, yep. Do you want to do a smoke test or are we... Well, we installed it. What else would we need to do? Uh, we're gonna if we want to get it to work with Arduino, right? Okay. We're going to add some Sweet. extensions. Okay. So it's up on the top left, the... Yep, there you go. Click that. Looks like we already got some of these installed, but if we just search Arduino. Arduino. Okay. All right, verified from... All right, Arduino. I already do have it installed. You're right, but... Awesome. Same, same deal. Just for clarification purposes, if you're just getting started with Arduino, I would highly recommend just using the Arduino IDE, either Arduino IDE 2.0, that's like the new and improved Arduino IDE, or the old, the uh, legacy Arduino IDE. Maybe in another video we can talk about why you might want to use VS Code, you know? Well, hey Josh, thanks for helping me set up VS Code to work with Arduino on my PC, man. I appreciate it. The next video that you should watch is the Arduino in 90 Minutes Masterclass. It's gonna walk you through programming Arduino from the bottom up. It's gonna give you a huge head start. You can just, it's right here. Yeah, you can just click it right there. <laughs> it's right there. You don't have to do the drag thing. Do you know that? No, I don't know how to do that. Okay, okay. So go ahead and make it smaller again. I'm gonna show you like the most amazing trick in the world. Okay, there you go. Now, hold command option and okay. click the green button. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah.